In this video we will learn about basics of algebra. First topic is fractions. What are fractions? A part of a whole, or A, divided by B, is called fraction. Consider this A, divided by B. Here, A, is called numerator. B, is called denominator. Division is called fraction bar. Consider fraction 5 divided by 6. This is its graphical representation. Here, 5 means the number of parts we have. And 6 means total number of parts. In pi graph 5 is represented by red color and the blue. Color represents the sixth part. Next topic is variables. What are variables? Consider this x variable. It has no power or exponent. The power will be 1 in such a case where there is no power on any variable or value in math. Also it has coefficient 1 and also 1 in division. Remember, this x is called variable and this one is called coefficient. Next topic is exponents. We will now see what are exponents. Consider this x raised to the power n. Here, n is called exponent and this x is called base for example consider this 2 raised to the power 3 here if we represent 3 by red color and 2 by blue then 3 is exponent and 2 is its base 2 raised to the power 3 means 2 is 3 times so we write 2 3 times and multiply them in this way this x raised to n means multiply xn times. 1 raised to the power 3 means multiply 1 3 times. 2 raised to the power 3 means multiply 2 3 times. And 3 raised to the power 3 means multiply 3 3 times. Similarly, 1 raised to the power 4 means multiply 1 4 times. 2 raised to the power. 4 means multiply 2 4 times, and 3 raised to the power 4 means multiply 3 4 times. The converse is also true. Mean. 2 raised to the power 3 means multiply 2 3 times, and similarly if we have 2 3 times, we can write 2 to the power 3. Next topic is the product rule. The product rule says that if we have product of multiple values or multiple values are multiplying and also their bases are same, then their powers will be added. In this case, we have x raised to the power m multiplied with x raised to the power n. Bases are same which are x, adding. Powers become x raised to the power m plus n. For example, if we have 2 raised to the power 3 multiplied by 2 raised to the power 4 becomes 2 raised to the power 3 plus 4. And if we add powers, it becomes 7. 2 raised to the power 7. Consider this example again. Here, 2 raised to the power 3 means 2 is 3 times. Similarly, 2 raised to the power 4 means 2 is 4 times. In this way it becomes 2 raised to the power 7. The next topic is the quotient rule. In algebra, if we have two values whose bases are same, then in the result we will take the base. And powers will be subtracted. And, the power in division will get the minus sign. For example, if we have 2 raised to the power 5 divided by 2 raised to the power 3, by Applying quotient rule. We take the base which is 2. The powers are subtracted so 5 minus 3 is written. 3 is in division so it has taken the minus sign. And 5 minus 3 becomes 2. So we'll have 2 raised to the power 2. Consider another example. 3 raised to the power 6 is divided by 3 raised to the power 2. By applying the quotient rule, it becomes 3 raised to the power 6 minus 2. Here, 3 comes as it is, and 6 minus 2 is 4. 
So, we have 3 raised to the power 4. Again, consider the same example, we will try to solve it by exponent rule. 3 raised to the power 6 means multiply 3 6 times. Similarly, in division, 3 raised to the power 2 means multiply 3 2 times. This 3 multiplied by 3 present in denominator is cancelled. With 3 multiplied by 3 in numerator, in this way the remaining 4 times 3 become 3 raised to the power 4. Our next topic is the power rule. The power rule states that if we have x raised to the power m whole power n, it will become x raised to the power m multiplied by n means powers will be multiplied. For example, if we have 3 raised to the power 2 whole power 3. By applying the power rule, it becomes 3 raised to the power 2 multiplied by 3. 2 is multiplied with 3 becomes 6. In this way we have 3 raised to the power 6. Now we have another example, 5 raised to the power 3 whole power 4. So by applying the power rule, it becomes 5 raised to the power 3 multiplied by 4. 3 multiplied by 4 becomes 12, so we get 5 raised to the power 12. Again consider the same example, we'll try to solve it by exponent rule. By exponent rule we can write 5 raised to the power 3 whole power 4 as 5 raised to the power 3 4 times. This was the exponent rule. 2 raised to the power 3 means 2 is 3 times. In this way we write 5 raised to the power 3 whole power 4 as 5 raised to the power 3 4 times. Again by exponent rule, this 5 raised to the power 3 is written 3 times 5. Also, this 5 raised to the power 3 is written 3 times 5. Also, this 5 raised to the power 3 is written 3 times 5. Also, this 5 raised to the power 3 is written 3 times 5. In this way, this becomes 5 raised to the power 12. Consider another type of example, x raised to the power 2, and 2 raised to the power 3. We'll take this x as it is. 2 raised to the power 3 means multiply 2 3 times, it becomes 8, so we get x raised to power 8. Consider another type of example, in which x raised to the power 2, then this 2 raised to the power 2, and again this 2 raised to the power 2. Take x raised to the power 2 as it is, and this 2 raised to the power 2 means, we have to write 2 2 times, again, this x raised to the power 2 is written as it is. And 2 multiplied by 2 becomes 4. Now this x is written as it is. And 2 raised to power 4 means 2 is 4 times. Mean write 2 4 times and multiply them. Becomes 16. Our next topic is the zero power rule. The most important topic. The zero power rule states that any value to power zero means one, except zero to the power zero. Because the expression zero raised to the power zero is indeterminate. It doesn't have a single defined value. There are three cases. First case is it may be undefined. In the context of real numbers, zero raised to the power zero is considered undefined. This means that there is no specific value assigned to it. The second case is limit approach. Depending on specific function, the limit may approach to 1, 0, or have another value. The third is convention in some fields. In certain mathematical fields such as combinatorics or number theory, 0 to 0 is defined to be 1. So, the value of x raised to the power 0 is 1, with some exceptions in 0 to 0. For example, consider 2 raised to the power 3 divided by 2 raised to the power 3. 
By applying quotient rule, it will become 2 raised to the power 3 minus 3. 3 minus 3 becomes 0. We will get 2 raised to the power 2. And this 2 raised to the power 0 becomes 1. By zero power rule, the remaining topics will be discussed in the next video. Please like this video, subscribe our channel and also share this video.